Well, first of all, thank you for uh, giving me the, the opportunity to um, to explain you a bit um, how we in Brussels have um, one or even two projects um, running for a, um, a working time reduction. So I hope I'll be able to inform you a bit more about this. Now, first of all, I'll just have to share my screen to see how this works. Yes, it works. Perfect. So. Um, I think you all know, even from hearing, that the, 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 the Belgian political system and even the trade union system is a bit complicated. So I thought I'd just um, explain you a bit, uh, just uh, that I just inform you a bit of how our um, trade union system works, so that so, so that you will be more able to um, to visualize and imagine how um, how we work here. So the Oops, next slide. Yes. So the there are three major trade unions in Belgium, which uh, are historically corrected with the political philosophy, of course. So there is initially the, the Christian trade union, there is the socialist trade union, and the liberal trade union. These are the three basic and biggest trade unions. Now, depending on the profession, there are also other trade unions but specifically connected with the with the, the the profession of people there are specific specific trade unions in the military in the in the railway in the in the police force for instance but i myself am a member of the historically socialist um, trade union the general work federation of belgium we use a lot of um, a lot of, um, of of words and symbols here but that's because we are officially a, a three lingual country dutch french and uh, german and well these are the the names and the symbols of uh, the our trade union in french and in uh, dutch so our socialist trade union on a national level is the FGTB ABVV in French and in Dutch, the General Work Federation of Belgium. And I myself am secretary of the CGSP ACOD, which is the General Central of Public Services. Um, I am a secretary inside this uh, CGSP ACOD, the General Central of Public Services, of the sector of the local and regional um, entities, which um, consists of, which is re responsible for 19 municipalities and social welfare centers, public hospitals, intermunicipal structure, pol police departments, different regional agencies, uh, amongst them uh, Net Brussel, which is re responsible for the cleaning the streets, for instance. We are the biggest sector inside the ACOD CGSP of Brussels. Now, about the region of Brussels, um, it's a small region. There are three different regions in Belgium, the Dutch-speaking, the French-speaking, and Brussels is a bilingual region, Dutch and French. So on a Belgian level, there are more or less a bit more than 11 million Belgians. And in Brussels, we are a bit more than 1.2 million citizens. One of the major, um, the major um, problems in Brussels is that there is an enormous youth unemployment. So by youth, I, we mean people, um, youngsters who are younger than 25 years old. The youth unemployment is just below 20%. I mean, that's... Uh, that's one in five. That means uh, just a bit less under 240,000 youngsters, people younger than 25 years, on a scale of 1.2 million citizens. That's quite an enormous um, rate. Here you can see a map of Belgium. On your left side, we can see the three. You can see the three different region: Flanders, which is Dutch speaking; Wallonia, French speaking. So I'm a member of the Brussels region, just the little dot in the middle. Uh, which is bilingual and uh, on the right screen you can see a small uh, image of the the 19 different um, towns and there are two towns in brussels uh, which have implemented some degree of a working time reduction and the first town i'd like to talk to you about is the municipality of saint joost de saint joost and uh, you can see the little black dot there on the, the right in the middle of your screen which is also the smallest uh, municipality of the, the region of brussels 
So Sint Jostenoda, it's an it's a very it's a small area, so it's the smallest town of the 19 uh, municipalities of uh, Brussels, but it's an extremely densely densely populated area. There are on a scale of 1.14 square kilometers, almost 27,000 habit, uh, inhabitants, and um, different studies have shown that we have the same population density as, for instance, the Indian city of Calcutta. So this is an enormous, it's quite a small town, but with an, with an extremely populated, um, yeah, and which is extremely densely populated. The population is also very young. 20% of these 27,000 inhabitants have less than, are less than 80 years, 18 years old, but it's also the poorest population of, uh, of Belgium, of the entire Belgian state. The town itself isn't really poor, but the population is very poor. And so there is a lot of unemployment there. On a national level, our trade union has always since uh, 30 or 40 years um, demanded the, the four day work week for all workers. So it's very important. We always spe speak about working time reduction, but we like to speak about a collective working time reduction. Why collective? Because for us, it has to concern, to concern all work, all possible workers um, in in every possible uh, profession. So we always uh, defended the four day work week uh, on a 32 hour level per week, 32, 32 uh, working hours per week with the maintainment of course of a full pay of a full wage and with additional uh, recruitment of uh, new people, new staff um, just to compensate the extra work. Why? Because just we, well, there is of course, um, it's no use to uh, work less if you get paid less, or even if you maintain, if you get the same, uh, the same wage, but if you have to do the, the five days work in four day, days, so people will, if you do this um, somehow in the long run, or even in the medium run, you will get sick and you will fall in burnout. So we maintain the, we, we really want a collective working time reduction, but by maintaining, of course, the full wage and by uh, with the recruitment of new staff, new people, just to compensate the extra work. And just to compare this, uh, to these two, 32 hours per week, which we ask, in Belgium, the general work week on an annual level um, is 38 hours, but there is legally a possibility to, to work up to 50 hours a week. But officially and in general, we speak about 30, 38 hours a week. So we've been asking for years to implement the collective working time um, reduction, of course, by maintaining the conditions that we, we maintain for a full wage and that there are compensating recruitments on the, on the, uh, in the workforce. And uh, in 2017, the, the mayor of the, the small village of St. Joostenode um, invited us, invited uh, the, the three trade unions for a presentation because he wanted to, um, to present uh, his idea to, uh, to implement uh, the, the working time re reduction. And uh, well, we, re we received a nice presentation, which was called the beginning of a new utopia in St. Joost. I like the name. So the, he wanted to, uh, to implement the working time reduction in 2018, but it took a bit more time. So we were negotiating for about two years, but not on a weekly basis. Um, so there are different working groups from 2017 till 2019 between the administration, the political side and uh, the three trade unions. And since the, be the beginning of this year, on the 1st of January, the collective working time reduction was officially implemented. So it's still quite new, new and unfortunately, we all know that the Corona crisis um, came along and we don't have yet any statistics of, well, we know how people feel, people are, are very happy, but we, did, we don't yet have any official statistics showing that people are officially less sick, for instance, we hope to get some next year. 
So about the implementation since the, the 1st of January of this year, it's, it is a collective working time reduction because it, is, because it concerns all workers uh, with, from all different uh, jobs and professions available in the, in the administration without distinction, but from 55 years. So people who are less than 55 years, unfortunately, don't yet don't uh, have a right to um, of, a, of a working time reduction. But of course, we are working on it. And each year we, are, uh, we will bring the subject up. And uh, well, of course, our, our meaning is to, uh, to lower the years, um, if possible. So it is in a certain way, a collective working time reduction because it concerns all people of the administration, all different professions and jobs, but unfortunately yet from the year of 55. Um, there was a compensation, so uh, of a new, so new staff was recruited. Twenty percent new staff was rec uh, recruited. Uh, on the political level, um, it was asked that whatever the cost was, uh, the service to the public, of course, had to be maintained, and it's normal because we are, uh, we defend the public service, uh, so it's quite normal that the service to the citizens had to be maintained. And uh, the political on political level, they uh, they also uh, wanted in exchange that we will we would be working on um, on on, reg on on intern um, papers to uh, to be to be able to uh, work from home, for instance, to install teleworking. The basic idea, and it's the same. Uh, there are bad, uh, well, the same arguments that we already heard before. The municipality the municipality wanted to offer a better balance between work and family for all workers from 55 years onwards, of course. The workers, well, it wanted the workers to be happier. Of course, there's a political reason behind it because happier workers are normally spoken less sick or, uh, or less in burnout because they are mo more, mo more motivated, their product productivity would increase. And of course, by an increasing productivity, the citizen would also find out that uh, people are happier and that the service to the citizen would increase too. And of course, on a global level, by recruiting new staff, it would also diminish uh, the, the, you know, the unemployment rate in Brussels. At a municipal level, because um, we are always organized in at a municipal level and social welfare centers, social welfare centers are smaller than the town halls, but they work together. They basically the same institution, but two different uh, employers. At a municipal level, more or less um, six, well, there are more or less 600 workers and uh, so more than one on five workers were concerned um, 121 workers were concerned at the time and um, they recruited between 22 and 24 additional people especially youngsters just to be able to compensate the extra amount of work since 121 people would work less work four days instead of five it would cost a bit. Uh, it would cost about uh, thirty-seven thousand euros per job, per new job um, recruited, and at an annual cost, it would cost nine hundred thousand euros. But of course, the basic idea is that it would be an advantage for the for the municipality because people would be happier, less sick, and in the long run, it wouldn't cost that many. So right now, unfortunately, we do not have any new figures, especially due to uh, to the COVID crisis. We don't really have actual figures to evaluate the collective uh, working time reduction. But we just know uh, when we speak to the to our um, our members and uh, and the people that they are extremely happy and uh, well, they feel much better than than before. So in, on the Belgium level, I already told you that the general work week. Um, was uh, well counts 38 working hours a week. Historically, the town of Sint Joost already had 
a small working time reduction because people there worked 36 hours a week instead of 38. And so right now with this working time reduction, um, the people are, workers are at 28 hours and a quarter working time a week. So I know the program only speaks of the, the municipality of Sint Joostenode, but I, well, I I cheat a bit and talk you about the other uh, working time reduction, which is not a collective working time reduction, but another working time reduction um, on the level of Brussels, which is in a, a second town of Brussels. It's the little red dot you can see on the left of your screen. It's a quite a large town, the town of Anderlecht. And um, so in St. Joostenode, the small town, uh, it was implemented on the, in January 2020, but in the town of Anderlecht, it was implemented in August 2018. But it was just implemented on the level of the municipality, not on the level of the smaller social welf welfare centers. We're, we're still discussing uh, with the political authorities on that. Uh, instead of St. Joost, St. Joost in the first municipality people work less from the year the years of uh, 55 years in Anderlecht it uh, it's beginning from 50 years so each well mo most workers who are 50 years or elder not 55 um, have the right to uh, to reduce their uh, working time but unfortunately not unlike in the, the smaller town, it's not for all workers. So it's just basically for the toughest jobs, the physically speaking, the hardest jobs, manual workers, uh, people who clean the streets, who uh, collect the garbage, the refuse in the streets. So it doesn't concern all jobs from 50 years onwards. It only cons uh, consists of the physically speaking, the toughest jobs. Um, in total, it concerns 250 workers on a total of 1,500. And the system is a bit different because, um, so in the smallest town, St. Joost, people just um, work one day less. But in Anderlecht, the political authorities just give 53 days, uh, well, they give 53 more days off a year to the people who have, uh, to the workers who have the most tough job. So it's a bit a different way of viewing. They don't necessarily officially work less, but they get 53 days off a year, 53 days off more than, than someone else a year, which is basically a one day a week. There were also 45 young people recruited just to compensate this extra work. People, of course, maintained their, uh, their regular wage as if they worked for, for five days. And um, the, the authorities promised us that each year it would be possible to negotiate again uh, to, in order to increase the beneficiaries. Of course, in 2020, due to COVID, once again, uh, they didn't have financial means to increase the beneficiaries. But well, we hope that, we that, well, that more people will be able to work less in 2021. And so right now, also, we don't have any figures, um, unfortunately, in order to, um, to, to, to evaluate uh, the, the impact on the, well, on the well-being of the workers. Thank you.